Alright, welcome back to the side quest bullshit. Uh, we've got some money, so let's go to town. Alright, at first let's uh, go to the master shop. supposed to give that to. Anyway, there's other stuff we can do here. Um, so, not only is the target practice game, there's the best game of them all. Bomb Chews! Let me check on my uh, file space here, though. Yeah, it's already 17 gigs, and I'm pre compressing it on the fly. But I got another hour's worth of video. Like, so. Anyway, Bomb Chews! say 30 rupees for our last piece of heart. Sounds like a pretty good deal to me. Oh. I didn't think it was going to be that easy, did you? Uh, I probably put you that quote, but I've only seen that movie once. Oh, God! It's the cuckoo from hell! Huh. Wait. I thought you could direct Thong Choose, but I think I'm thinking of Twilight Princess. So. Come on. Oh. I think he was following me. Ah! Oh, this is going downhill rapidly. Bomb two. Yes. Awesome. Oh, uh, I can't afford to, so no. But still, it's the cuckoo from hell. Look at it's like giant. Anyway. Got another piece of heart. See if I can suck less at the target practice game now that I've been playing this for a while. No, oh, this is an area we haven't actually been to yet. Then we'll hit up Lake Hylia, and then I think I'll call this one done. Um, start doing the post-processing on this and uploading, and then doing the uh, next plot video. Um, hmm. I don't know, we'll see. It's 20 rupees, so we can play one game. Wait for the slowdown and stop. Yeah, whatever. Oh, this is already going to end badly. It's all on the timing. Oh, 
I don't have enough money, so uh, let's... Oh yeah, there's that other thing where you can find the woman's dog, but... We get out of that. Yeah... I don't know. Let's check out something new. Kill my piece of heart. That's what I really came there for. Alright, so you notice we haven't been doing a lot of stuff on the west side of the map. What site? Um... There's not really much to do, but we can score some stuff uh, over yonder, so let's head over there. Whatever it is, I'm gaining on him rapidly. Well, whoever it is, he seems very serious about his running. Very serious. Do I have enough motivation to keep doing that? No. Alright. Run! Or just do this. That won't stop the flying things, but that will stop the uh, zombies. I need some more decking nuts. Wait. Gerudo Valley. Alright, so here's what will make it obvious that I'm following a guide, but whatever.
timing allowed. It won't do you any good. So, uh, simply put, we're not welcome here. Um, spoilers ahead. So, the Gerudo Valley is populated entirely by Gerudos. Gerudos are also entirely female. So, uh, yeah. If I could do the winky icon, I would do that right now. Uh, that's not gonna work. Oh, this has failed spectacularly. Well, maybe. Ledge. And a cow. <laughs> Indeed. All right. Well, first, to her roll into the box. Why can't I skip the dialogue? So, I missed uh, a platform. Oh well, I'm just gonna make the most of it. <sighs> I love the music for this part of the game. Well, I love the music in this game, but specifically the uh, the Gerudo Valley music is really excellent. What? Is that not... Oh, okay. Oh, there he is. I was about to say... over with. He doesn't dive for that one. Anyway. Toodle guru, toodles guru valley. I shall return. I think when I come back here later I'll play uh, the orchestrated version. Oh, on top of that, so you can hear how much better it sounds that way. Oh, and also it's like that. So, this is our uh, last destination, and uh, talk to some of the NPCs here. I don't know if we can get anything yet. Um,
on. I'm researching the process of making medicine by mixing the Kylie's water with various unusual compounds. Perhaps you've met that old lady from the potion shop. She's like a student of mine. Ho ho ho! Oh yeah, I think there's a potion shop around here somewhere. Anyway. I can't yet. Uh, I will be able to later in the game. Sorry about that. Alright. Wait. Oh, that was just that shot. So let's come on over to the other side. Here and the wandering scarecrow. Actually, I wish I could wander to look for soul moving sounds. Kind of stuck here. I'm Wanderer the scarecrow. Useful genius. I hear songs. I never forget it, baby. This strongly implies I should play songs for them. So I think I can just play anything I want here, so just do something I remember. Walk up to the water's edge and press L to look at a fish. While, at, while looking at a fish, you can cast your line with B, press A to break the line. Uh, when the lure drops into the water, you can wiggle it. With the control stick, if you're a novice, you can also use B, reel in your lure with A, hold down A and R to reel it in faster. Here with six pounds. You cast, you can change your view to helm. Let's fish. Alright. Hopefully, uh, Navi helps us out. Uh, 
Gladius, the fishing mini game. Revolutionize all the mini games as we know them. I mean, seriously, this could be its own fishing game. I mean, lots of people said that, you know, they wanted Twilight Princess to be able to swing their sword or whatever. Nah, it was about the fishing mini game. Is that the only fish in the pond right now? There's a joke in there somewhere. Alright. Luckily, this is uh, less complicated than it is in uh, Phantom Hourglass or Twilight Princess. Four pounds? Sure, why not? This serves as an introduction to the fishing minigame. just about everything I feel like doing right now. Uh, we've got an hour and a half worth of stuff, including that extra plot vid I just did. Uh, what I'm going to do for now, um, go ahead and save, start working on the other video, then I'll make another plot progression video um, that'll serve as episode 10, because I think there's a lot of exposition, but precious little actual gameplay, so the next actual gameplay segment will be episode 11. So for the time being, I'm going to pause the game, stop the recording, I'll be back in a little while.